Okay, these, uh, these are some of the structural parts. This is actually a, a very important uh, bulkhead in the tail unit. I, I think since I bought my first part, which I guess at that time it was just a part, it wasn't a project, was about five years. And so the time goes by rather quickly, but you, you amass parts and, and eventually you get sort of to the critical mass stage where you actually have a project. So this is, uh, this is part of the front part of the fuselage along the side. For me, it was sort of like a very challenging aircraft. Um, certainly is a very revered aircraft for its performance and uh, its capabilities. The biggest challenge, of course, is when you rebuild something, you want to use as many original okay, parts is, as you can. Is, uh, Aircraft parts that we have are actually wreckage parts, and so while they do produce a lot of technical information, um, they're not reusable. What aircraft part of the I guess it's the satisfaction that you get, and it's also the challenge, because it's a challenging aircraft. I mean, it's all metric. As you can see, it's not a large aircraft. Uh, with the, uh, the wings without the wingtip on it are actually only 12 feet long. Because there's not a great deal of parts around, it makes it difficult in some cases. Uh, you look at a lot of photos, in a lot of cases that's the only documentation that exists. Probably over half of the aircraft is now complete and so we're going to concentrate on the other items like rebuilding the wings and, and things like that. So you know in a sort of a fast track mode, probably within a couple years uh, the aircraft could fly. And so it would have been a, I guess a five year, sorry, a seven year effort in total to get it back into the air.